Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the um, find the eighth derivative of this function evaluated at zero. So basically, find this. Um, you could differentiate this eight times, but then it becomes very tedious. So turn this function into a series and then differentiate the series eight times. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, rewrite this in, in, in this form. So rewrite this as rewrite it as rewrite it as this so uh, so this is your m here so this is your m here and this is your x here this is your x here so now uh, now blindly follow this so the first term will be 1 and then the next one would be when k equals 1 so that will so the coefficient here will be will be simply be m so remember m is the power so remember m is a power here. So m here would be this. And then the first term would be x to the power of 1. So it would be x, this is our x here, to the power of 1. So uh, so when, when k equals 1, it would be this would be our this would be our coefficient here, and then this would be this thing here. And then the next one, the next one would be when when k equals 2, which will be which will be this thing here. Which will be this thing here. So it's basically when you come to do this, it's basically m, which is which is a half, and then uh, this is our m here, and then you minus it by one. So you minus it by one. That will then give you this, and then two factorial, and then it will be our bubble. It will be our bubble here. It will be our bubble here squared, and then the next one would be will be this thing. Will be this thing. Take away one. And then take away two, and then it's three, uh, three factorial. Uh, well, it's, it's really you, you blindly following this, and then, uh, and then it will be the bubble to the power of three. So it would be the bubble to the power of three. And then the next one would be, the next one would be, would be, uh, would be. Well, start out with this. The next one will be this. Uh, a half take away one, a half take away two, a half take away three, and then four factorial, and then it will be this thing to the power of four. And then the, 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 the next one would be start out with your half, start out with your half, take away one, take away two, take away three, take away four, and then five factorial, and then it will be this thing to the power of five. So it's, it's really you blindly following, following this. But you you are just blindly following this thing here. So that would then so so this thing here turn into a series. It would then give you it would then give you this whole thing here. It would then give you this whole thing here. Okay. So so when you when so so f of x equals this this whole thing here. Now differentiate it eight times. You see when you differentiate this eight times, this this is going to be zero. Differentiate this eight times, it's going to be zero. This thing here is to the power of four. So differentiate this eight times, it's going to be zero. Differentiate this eight times, don't forget this is to the power of six. So differentiate it eight times, evaluate it at zero. Evaluate it at zero, it's going to be zero. The only, um, the, uh, the only thing that's of interest is this block here. If you differentiate this eight times, um, this is, this is, um, this is x to the power of ten. It, x to the power of 10. If you differentiate it 8 times, it will be something to the x to the power of 2 um, over uh, 5 factorial. When you evaluate it at, when you evaluate it at 0, put 0 into this x here, the whole thing will, will go to 0. So the only thing that's of interest is, is this block here. So when, when you get to this stage here, in your mind, in your mind, visualize it like this. So when you when you get to um, when you get to this stage here, if you differentiate it eight times, all, all these are going to disappear. All these are, the only block that's of interest is this block here. So when you um, when you get to this stage here, in your mind visualize this. So um, so so don't forget this thing times by itself four times it will be x to the power of eight, and then uh, and then if if you tidy this whole thing up, it will be. Um, well, it would be three uh, times uh, three times five. That would be fifteen. Don't forget, you've got a negative here, 
and then over 2, so it would be 15, uh, negative 15 over 2, uh, and then you've got to divide by 4 factorial, divide by 4 factorial. So this thing here gets multiplied to the bottom. So, so this whole thing here, this whole coefficient here, will be this thing here. So when you, when you get to this stage here, in your mind, visualize it as this. In your mind, visualize it as this. So this is, this is merely just a coefficient. Now differentiate this eight times. Differentiate eight, well, differentiate eight, eight times. Differentiate eight times. So differentiate it once, it will be minus 15 is basically the coefficient. Four, four factorial, and then and then times eight, and then x to the power of seven, and then differentiate it again. That would be fifty minus fifteen times eight times seven over uh, this thing here, and then it would be x to the power of six. Differentiate it again, again once. You're going to have fifteen minus fifteen times eight times seven times six, and so on. Differentiate it eight times. It would be it would be basically be 8 factorial. Um, uh, think about it. it, it the, 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 um, the term prior to this, well, think about it. If you differentiate, differentiate 8 times, you're going to get a, a constant, and this will be your constant. Now, evaluate at 0. It, well, this, this, this will be your constant. So jump to a calculator, and it will then give you this. So this value is equal to, to this. Okay?